Hey guys, got another game related video for you here, some gaming news. Now, most of you probably know about the Mass Effect Legendary Edition, which is a remaster of the first three games coming out on May 14th of this year. It was something that went obviously back and forth a lot with different people and different rumors. And originally we thought we were getting it last year, but apparently just the how the development was done and also COVID kind of delayed it, but we're still getting it. There's a few things that um, I wanted to talk to you about. The first one, one talking about how Pinnacle Station is not going to be in the DLC for the game. It's actually due to source code being lost. Now, admittedly, Pinnacle Station actually wasn't that fun. If anything, it was a very lackluster DLC because it apparently was actually it was uh, uh, developed by a third-party studio called Demerge, which makes sense because it's just so boring and all it is is just fighting holographic uh, enemies and it would drop the frame rate down into the pits. Apparently the code has um, been corrupted this whole time and that's why they actually couldn't uh, bring it back for the the, the remaster here. There's a quote here from um, Mac Walters. It would have basically taken us another full six months just to do this, just to recreate it with most of the team we've got. I wish we could do it, honestly, just because this is meant to be everything that the team ever created, brought together again, all the single player content and so on. And so leaving it all on the cutting room floor was heartbreaking. But like I said, it's not that bad and it's very forgettable. Citadel expansion uh, for Mass Effect 3 had a much better version of Pinnacle Station. But the other one, and this is the one that's like got me actually in a bit of a financial crisis situation here, is the legendary cache. If any of you have seen this yet, this thing is nuts. It's $150, I imagine it's American, so for me it'd be about like a near on 200 bucks, and that's not including tax. But it has so much, except the game, which is a bit kind of uh, but what it comes with is a steel case, uh, art uh, case for the game. It comes with some uh, canvas prints, one of them being Femship, the other being of the Normandy, which looks really nice. It comes with an acceptance letter, which is what Shepard got to become uh, NN7 uh, and put into the Spectre program. It comes with some morality spinner pins, which is really cool. But the thing that's like the big one, obviously the one that like caught my eye right off the bat is the helmet. And it's not just a display helmet. You can wear this fucking thing. You can wear a freaking N7 Mass Effect helmet. It uh, has a detailed design, it has adjustable straps, it can fit up to an XL helmet size, which is fantastic because that means it can fit my head because I have a big melon. And it can change color. It can change between Paragon Blue to our Renegade Red, which is exactly what I will be having it as all the time. And apparently it needs AA batteries, which it doesn't come with, which is funny. Yeah, this thing is nuts. Um, I can't believe it. And apparently right now it, there's five days left if you want to get free international shipping a free US shipping and a $25 US discount for international shipping. So like I said, I've been like uh, about it for the last little while, but maybe. Anyways, have you guys seen this? Are you guys thinking about getting it? There is a possibility that it could go wrong, but it is something from Bioware and their Bioware gear store. So I do have a little bit of faith in that. And Bioware has been desperately needing a pump up in the last little while so hopefully it's actually something worth our while um but we'll see anyways guys just wanted to let you know about that let me know in the comments below what you guys think of this and if you're interested in it and whether you might be getting it anyways that's all from me hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did leave a like and if you're interested in more subscribe otherwise see you guys next time thanks for watching the video my name is nitz and you might remember me from the animated cult classic tv show undergrads it's been a while but I'm happy to say The Click is finally getting back together in an all-new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.